Veronica, where are you going with suitcase? Oh, I thought I mentioned it. Mentioned what? I am spending the weekend at my fiancé's place. When did you start that? Did you do a secret wedding? I dare not marry without informing you. You are going to be my chief bridesmaid. Why are you going to spend the weekend with a man you are not married to? We are getting married soon. He has met my family and he already proposed. I don't think there is anything wrong with going there to spend the weekend. Besides, what if he snores? I need to know. You planned on catching him in the act of snoring? Vero, this is not you. You are a Christian girl. This is not right. Oh, I know what you are thinking. Don't worry, we are not going to have sex. John and I discussed it. Why are you going there if you're not going to have sex? You want us to have sex? No. You are going to sleep there as human not as a spirit. Meaning? Even if you do not have sex. Other sexual activities such as kissing is inevitable. Praise, kissing is not a sin. Will you kiss him in front of your pastor? What? Thought so no. Only at the altar on our wedding. So what is the difference? My taxi is here. This discussion can continue some other time. Collins Avenue, right? Yes. I should not kiss the man I am getting married to. I should not sleep over at his house. The Bible didn't even mention those things. Praise can be so extra with her Christianity. Ma'am, I know you are not talking to me but can I say something? Okay. It is true that the Bible didn't mention kissing explicitly, but do you believe kissing is a sexual activity? Yes, I believe kissing is a sexual activity. Since kissing is a sexual activity, the Bible says in 1 Corinthians 6, 18, run from sexual sin. No other sin so clearly affects the body as this one does. You are to run from sexual sin. But I am getting married in few months. Until you are married, it is a sin. Okay, thanks. I have reached my destination. Babe, how did you get in? Have you forgotten that I have spare key? That is true. Like you have the key to my heart. Yes, I do. How long are you staying for? Just the weekend. Is that not too short? Babe, you know as Christians, we are not supposed to live together before marriage. We are not living together, we are just spending time together. Under the same roof for two nights. It doesn't count as living together. Don't be scared. As long as I have proposed to you, living together is not a sin. Are you sure? Don't you trust me again? I trust you. But we won't have sex, right? I can't guarantee that. Besides, I have met your parents. We are practically married. It's okay. Let's go inside. I want to go to the bathroom. I'll be right back. Okay, I'll be waiting. The driver's words and praise's words are echoing in my ears. Praise said it is not right to sleep over with a man I'm not yet married to. The driver said I should run from sexual immorality. I think it was God speaking through them. Or what are the chances of meeting a driver that can give such advice? If he truly loves me, he would wait till we are married. I am going back home. Where is this babe? Why is she taking forever to leave the bathroom? I should probably check on her. Why didn't you come to the room? Why are you just standing here? Brother John, I can't stay over, I am going home. Brother John? You are calling me Brother John? Then you are going home? You are acting strange. Did something happen in the bathroom? You can't say you are going home. That is not possible. I'm sorry but I have to leave. Veronica, what sort of joke is this? Is this a prank? If this is a prank, please stop. It is not a prank. I don't want to sin against God. How is it a sin against God? Do you think I don't know God? I am the Bible study coordinator. I know the word more than you. Trust me when I say it is not a sin. I want to believe you, but I'm choosing to believe God. You should believe God too. Bye brother John. If you leave, that's the end. I can't be married to a woman that doesn't trust me as the head. Wow, I can't believe you just said that. 
Watch me leave. This must be a dream. Someone please wake me. So Veronica has grown so much wings. She walked out on me. If not because I don't want to beat a woman. One blow is enough. Useless girl. Praise, I can't believe John served me breakfast because I insisted on not sleeping over at his place. Who serves breakfast at night? The guy is something else. What are you saying? Should he have served it in the morning? Is breakfast not served in the morning? Praise, stop acting dumb. John broke up with me because I refused to sleep over. Thank you Jesus. You are happy. Yes I am. Any Christian that makes such demand is of no good and a disgrace to the body of Christ. Please let him go. I know it's painful but please, this is for the best. John is not your husband. Don't worry, you'll be fine. I am proud of you. God is proud of you. I'm glad you're here. Do you need anything? Not yet. I'm fine. Don't forget that I have to be in church for first service tomorrow. I am leading the worship. I know. I also have to be in church for first service. I am leading Bible study. Since we attend the same church, we can leave together. I don't think that will work. What if someone sees me coming out of your car? Don't worry, I can drop you two streets before the church. Then you'll trek. No, I can't trek. I'll be late. I'll just take Uber. That is better. I like that you have sense. Pharaoh refused to sleep over here. I don't have time for nonsense. I broke up with her yesterday. Really? Don't worry. I am available for you at any time. Caro Caro, let's go in. Fine girl like you should not be seen in a public transport. That was why you stopped to pick me? Yes. And because I do see you in church. Thanks. What is your name? Betty. What a nice name. How old are you? I'm 18 years old. Oh, that is good. I'd like to know you better and be your friend. Can I take you to my house? It's fine. Your house is beautiful. Thanks. I like you, Betty. Really? Yes. I want to be your mentor. I'll be teaching you Bible study and we will be praying together. I like that. We can start next time. Let's just use today to get to know each other. That's fine. Praise, I have been hearing a rumor. What is it about? That John impregnated a teenager in the church. You don't say. John your ex? The Bible study leader? Say one. Wow. That is really bad. I didn't know he was that bad. I didn't know to. God really saved you. You dodged a bullet. Thanks to God, you and that driver. Thank God you listened. This is such a sad thing to hear. It's barely three months we broke up. May God help him fix his life. Amen. I want you to meet someone. Who? My cousin in Texas. Why? He needs a wife and you need a husband. Ah. Praise. Well, I just think you both will be compatible for each other. Don't worry, he is a faithful child of God. Okay. Hello Veronica. My name is Caleb. So good to meet you. My cousin has told me so much about you. I hope the things she told you were positive things? Yes. Beautiful things. Okay. I want to get to know you better. Okay, that's fine. I'm really trusting God that this is what I have been waiting for. God's will be done. Amen. How was the date with Caleb? It was fine. I think he is a cool guy. I really wanted to ask him if he believes in sex before marriage but it's our first date. I know he does not believe in sex before marriage but it is better to ask him. Maybe on the second date or when he calls. Alright. Thank you for always having my back. <laughs>